today is a very checkery day. I am gonna be trying checkers slash rallies full burger menu. Every single burger they have. I'm gonna rate them from one to 10 and tell you which is the best one, which is the worst one, at least in my opinion. So when you go to rallies or checkers, you'll be like, okay, I know which burger to get. I feel confident in this decision and in my life choices as well. I do have my little sugar-free, caffeine-free um, Diet Coke here. Listen, I used to not be a soda drinker, but my bae is obsessed with diet caffeine-free Coke, so it happened. It's always in the fridge. It's always an option, but I do limit it to about like a half of this a day because I can't betray my true love water that badly. Guys, we have five burgers here and oh, by the way, Checkers has a new dessert. It is a, I think like a brookie brownie cookie thing and I'm gonna try that today as well. Okay, so this must be the brookie thing. Okay, wow. This is interesting. It's like so greasy. Why is it so greasy? Oh my God, okay. That is it. That looks like raw cookie dough. It is moist with grease and oil. That is very interesting. I need a napkin. I am nervous to try that, but I'm gonna be trying that as dessert after all the burgers, okay? Why'd I get so many? Oh my God, that was a whole tree. I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's talk about the burgers that I got. I got the Big Buford. Who is she? Never heard of Miss Buford, but we're gonna find out. I got the Bistro Buford. She has a sister. I got the Smoky Barbecue Bacon Buford. So many siblings. <laughs> and I also got the Baconzilla and the Cheese Champ. Now, as I taste test them, I will talk about all the toppings, the prices, all that good stuff, okay? Okay, these are pretty, pretty heavy. Pretty good sizes. I wish they said which was which because I'm just gonna have to figure it out. By the way, guys, subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Takeout, for more fast food reviews. I try brand new fast food items, and I also do full menu taste tests like this one. Ooh. Oh, there was napkins right here the whole time. I'm so sorry, oh my God. Literally, I know that we're supposed to be doing our part to save the earth, and I'm trying my best. Okay, I recycle, but also, this was an accidente. Is Coke bad for the earth? I don't know, everything is. But we have to keep going. Listen, next week if I hear from scientists that my gases are causing the ozone layer to crack open, I am gonna seal my crack and hold those in as long as possible, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna open them all up because I have to figure out which is which. The bun looks very um, supple. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I think we should just try the Big Buford because it seems like that's like their main like plain burger, right? So let's talk about it and see what is on it. <gasps> God, the ozone! So the Big Buford was $7.69 on Uber Eats. Checkers! <laughs> Honestly, Checkers thinks that they're Cheesecake Factory right now with those prices. So the description says, the boss of all burgers is made for the fast foodie with two large hand, wait, what? I <laughs> can't wait to use this. The boss of all burgers is made for the fast foodie with two large hand seasoned 100% beef hamburger patties. I thought that it said the fast foodie with two large hands and I was like, me? Okay, so yes, it has two large hand seasoned 100% beef hamburger patties topped with two slices of melted American cheese, iceberg lettuce, Roma tomato, fresh from Italy probably, red onion, crinkle cut pickles, ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise, all on a flour dusted bun. Why would they put flour dusted in the description? Like that does not sound appetizing. Like <laughs> there's your bun. So I'm guessing the big Buford is this one. It has the two patties. I see all the tomatoes, all the condiments. Let's take a look guys. This is how it looks up close. Pretty. Okay. Honestly, a lot of condiments, which is a good thing. A lot of little fresh toppings. The patties look nice. And let's try it. Mmm. I haven't had Checkers burgers in years. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's Mr. Buford. Mmm. Oh, 
even shook it. I expected something trashier. Let me try the meat by itself quickly. Hold on. I mean, it tastes good. Pretty plain. I don't taste the ham seasonings, but this is good. It tastes like real meat. I'm impressed. I don't know why I expected a grease ball. It really is not greasy whatsoever. The cheese tastes good. All the toppings like the tomato and the pickle and the lettuce taste very fresh, very juicy. And I love the amount of condiments that they put on it. It really gives you the full burger experience. Um, is it worth seven something dollars? I don't think so, but it's a great burger. It's very satisfying. It's classic, it's simple, and it kind of tastes like a Sonic burger. To be honest, I love Sonic burgers. Okay, I'm giving the big Zani Buford a nice 8.5 out of 10. Very, very good burger. I'm shooketh. Next up, let's try the Bistro Buford, okay? So this is, I guess, like the fancier, more high-class version. It's $8.59. That is kind of insane for a fast food burger. Like, I get the prices have, like, risen, you know. I expect that at this point. But $8.59 for checkers. Oh, my God. So it has two large hand-seasoned 100% beef patties and two strips of bacon paired with melted Swiss cheese, savory, creamy Dijon mayo sauce. That sounds great. And crispy Parmesan-dusted onions. All served on a toasted bakery-style bun. So they don't have the flour dust. I wanted the flour dust. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure it is this one. Yes, I see the sauce. I see the bakery bun. I see, ooh, there's the Parmesan um, onion rings and the bacon. So let's see if it tastes as classy as it sounds. Cause right now, this sounds really special. She sounds like she's not like the other Bufords, okay? She's a different kind of girl. Let's try it. So, it's, uh, these burgers really get stuck in there. It's definitely not bad. It's, it's, a, it's a nice little burger, but it doesn't taste like anything different. It doesn't taste like a bistro, you know? What does a bistro taste like? Caviar and champagne dreams, right? This tastes more like a Western burger. You know what I'm talking about? Like the burgers with like the onion rings and the bacon. It tastes just like one of those. <laughs> I will say, Chuckers meat is not overbearing. Like for example, Wendy's, when I get like a double cheeseburger there, it's too much meat. The meat is too meaty. But with this, even with two patties, like the meat isn't too meaty. It's fine. It works. So that's good. Um, I do taste the Swiss cheese. It adds a nice little sweetness along with the Dijon, but the Dijon isn't that, that like noticeable. Sadly, cause I love Dijon mustard. Um, so yeah, it's good. It just kind of tastes like any other like cowboy burger. You know, <laughs> they always have names like cowboy or Texas or like cow wrangler burger. I don't know. It tastes like one of those. I'm gonna give the Bistro Buford, I think a six out of 10. It's fine, it's fine. Next up, let's try the Smoky Barbecue Bacon Buford. It sounds kind of similar to the Bistro one, but different. Okay, so it has the two patties, Swiss cheese, just like the Bistro one. Okay. Two slices of smoked bacon, lettuce, Roma tomato, crinkle cut pickles, onions, sweet and smoky barbecue sauce, smoky mayo, and even more bits of real chopped up bacon. It's the bigger, bolder, and better way to do burgers. It's $9.09. Now these are Uber Eats prices, but still, it's insane. I'm sorry, checkers, you need lower prices. For the quality of the food, that should be probably like at most $6, like a Wendy's price, you get me? So I think it's this one. I see barbecue sauce on this one. Okay, so I can see all the toppings. I can see tons of barbecue sauce. Like they slathered that sauce on. Let's try it. Barbecue. I don't like it. See, the bacon is gummy. Oh my God. Okay. I'm not being dramatic guys. I didn't like that. Oh my God. So the bacon was like gooey, like super chewy and stretchy and fatty. I like my bacon crispy. I can't eat it when it's like, like a bubble gum texture. No, thank you. Now my main issue with the sandwich is the barbecue sauce. 
I love barbecue sauce. You guys know it's one of my favorite condiments these days. But this barbecue sauce is the kind of barbecue sauce I hate. It tastes so cheap, so trashy. And I love trashy food, but this is the bad kind of trashy. It's like trashy at the bottom of a garbage can. There's something about it that just, ugh. If there's like a weird kick in it that just tastes like a factory, like so processed. And they put so much of it on the sandwich. It was like soaked through the bun. And it was all that I could taste, just this strong barbecue sauce. I couldn't taste anything else. I don't like that. The bacon barbecue one, I'm giving it a two out of 10. Never again. So we have two burgers left. We have the Baconzilla and the Cheese Champ. So the Cheese Champ has one seasoned patty, American cheese, Roma tomato, red onion, iceberg lettuce, crinkle cup pickles, ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. So it's basically the big Buford, but just with one patty? So it's like the same thing. Okay, let's just try it. Mm, that's the inside. Okay. Let's see. Mmm. So far, Trevor's best burgers are their simple ones. It's delicious. Love the cheese champ. I think I still do prefer the Big Buford because the meat is so good. I like the two patties more, but this is really good. Oh wait, the price, I didn't see the price. It was $6.09. So it's the cheapest burger here. And that's still pricey for a single patty, very pricey. So yeah, it's good. It's the same thing as the Big Buford, just less meat. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Guys, I literally just had to pause filming because one of my friends told me that Wicked is gonna be two movies. I'm such a stereotypical, you know. I'm a Wicked stan and Cynthia Arrivo and Ariana Grande are gonna be Alphaba and Glinda and they're gonna make it into two movies. I'm shaking, I'm shaking on my broomstick. <laughs> okay, anyways, back to the video, I'm so sorry. Okay, sorry, it's just a box and there's someone vacuuming outside so I'm so sorry uh, like um, about the noise. So this one is the Bacon Villa. Let's see what's on it. Um, it sounds a lot like the Baconator from Wendy's. So this sandwich is $9.99, the most pricey $10 sandwich from Tucker's, okay. It says, warning, there will be bacon. Take on these two large hand seasoned 100% beef hamburger patties piled high with four slices of crispy bacon, two slices of American cheese, melted cheddar cheese, ketchup and mayonnaise, all served on a flour dusted bun, okay. To be honest, four pieces of bacon Sounds a little cheap to me for $10, but that's just me. So this is a very cheesy. Okay, let's try it. A lot of condiments. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So, the cheese on this tastes like the Arby's cheese sauce. You know what I'm talking about? On the roast beef sandwiches, it tastes just like that. So that's great. But not feeling the bacon. Once again, it's very chewy and not crispy. And I feel like this definitely needs fresh toppings. It really does. Um, it's just, it's a bit too, too many um, animal products. Too much beef, too much bacon, too much cheese. You get me? There's no fresh aspect here. Um, the ketchup does help for sure, but... It's still just not enough. So I'm gonna give the Baconzilla a five out of 10. By far, my favorite burgers were the plain ones, the Big Buford, and the cheesy, cheesy, whatever. It's a small one. Those were my faves. I would recommend those. The rest, I don't think I would recommend, to be honest. They're just not that great. So now let's try the new cookie dough brookie thing. Let me see the info about it. So it's called the chocolate chip brookie. It's $3.29 and um, it says warm chocolate fudge brownie baked soft with velvety caramel and milk chocolate chips on top of a chocolate chip cookie. Okay. Like I said, it was incredibly greasy. So let's see how it tastes. Let's open it up. Okay. Ooh. Okay. It's so oily that like it makes a noise when I bite into it, like a spongy noise. What is that? Checkers, this is upsetting. But why do I want more? <laughs> it's definitely not good. 
but I just love sweets. Um, it tastes more processed than most store-bought like processed like desserts, like a Chips Ahoy cookie, like the soft baked ones, or those little, um, little like mini blueberry muffins. It has that same processed texture and processed flavor, which is not a horrible thing, but it should be a step up above that, you know? And like I said, it's so oily that it has a spongy texture, which is not cute. And it really tastes like vanilla extract, but like not in a good way, like pure vanilla extract. It's so squinchy. I don't know. Overall, it's not satisfying. It's not a great dessert. I'm gonna have to give it a four out of 10. It's still edible. I'm eating it because I love sweets, but yeah. So, guys, I never got a thumbnail. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Okay, got it. Anyways, this was so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below, which is your favorite burger at Checkers. And if you've never been to Checkers, um, which burger looks the best to you? I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh.